A Roman sword, a legionary wasteland, part of a Roman shield, all found on Oak Island in Nova Scotia. Many Roman coins found throughout the territory of the USA. A head of a Roman figurine found below 500 year old ruins in Mexico City. Is that proof that the Romans visited North America over a thousand years before Columbus and hundreds of years before the Vikings? Well, not so fast, dear friends of Roman history. There are some problems with this theory. First of all, some finds are of questionable authenticity, such as this purported Roman sword of Nova Scotia. It has some eerie similarities to swords that one can find on eBay. Also, the sea currents make no logical sense since the Gulf Stream's direction ports to the northeast from Nova Scotia. So the Romans would have had to row against the stream. Only the currents to the west of Africa would be favorable for such a passage, but given that the Roman triremes or merchant ships were usually not equipped with enough provisions for such a long trip, it is very unlikely that the Romans could have survived the long voyage. However, is it possible that a Roman ship was abandoned and got lost off the coast of Africa and was carried all the way to the Americas, then found by indigenous people, and some artifacts found were distributed around? Yes, this would be possible. But Romans actually surviving this long trip? Very unlikely.